know, looking at the F-16C from the outside, there are only a few very subtle changes from the F-16A. But inside, the airplane is brand new, and it incorporates all the latest fighter technologies. Major changes have been made in the F-16C cockpit. These are designed to improve operational capability and flexibility. Directly in front of me is a new wide-angle heads-up display. It provides the pilot with all the flight information and weapons aiming cues he needs to keep his head out of the cockpit and on his target. The new HUD also has a raster capability for displaying a 25-degree field of view of infrared image. With an appropriate sensor, the pilot can navigate and deliver weapons by using the infrared imagery displayed on the HUD. Directly below the HUD is the integrated control panel. It's placed for easy upfront access to the navigation computer, radios, and the forward-looking infrared system. On both sides of this are two independent multifunction displays. They provide weapon and sensor control and large format displays of air-to-air -air and air-to-surface radar information, various sensor imagery, weapons and stores management data, as well as built-in test data. Prior to flight, all of the mission navigation, communication, and identification data, plus target and weapon information, are loaded onto this cassette. The pilot then inserts the cassette into the console receptacle and all of the mission information is automatically loaded into the onboard systems. Of course, the pilot can modify that information at any time by using the upfront control panel. As in the F-16A, key controls are arranged so that the pilot, while in combat, can operate with his hands on the stick and throttle. For example, if while navigating or attacking a ground target, the pilot sees an airborne threat, he can switch to an air combat mode, automatically obtain a radar lock, destroy that enemy aircraft with an air-to-air -air missile or the gun, and then return to the original mode, all without moving his hands from the stick or throttle. Well, now let's get in the air. It's time to see these systems in operation. Just like the F-16A, the F-16C is easy to start. No external support equipment is required. We only use one switch to turn on the battery and another switch to start the jet fuel starter. Thirty seconds later, the engine is up to idle speed and the pilot begins his pre-flight checks and aligning the inertial navigation set. The entire process, from start to takeoff, can take less than one minute but today we'll take it a little bit easier. With the data transfer equipment, the entire mission can be loaded into the aircraft systems in only five seconds. In the air-to-air -air role, the F-16C provides two key improvements, an upgraded detection capability and a new missile. The new advanced technology APG-68 radar with track while scan features has been added, allowing the F-16C to track 10 targets simultaneously. As targets enter the area defended by the F-16C, the radar detects intruders far beyond visual range. A computer interprets the threat priority and displays target information, 
along with friendly forces and steering data. The APG-68 will incorporate a new mode called RAID Cluster Resolution. Using the Doppler shift of airborne targets flying in tight formation, the F-16C can determine if there's more than one target in a radar beam width, giving the pilot a better ability to set up his attack. To take advantage of this improved radar, a new beyond visual range missile ability is provided. The advanced medium range air to air missile, AMRAM, receives steering information from the target computer and after launch, mid course updates from the radar guided to the target. The aircraft fire control computer can support several of these missiles at the same time, giving the F 16 true multi shot ability. In the aircraft's air-to-surface attack role, significant improvements have also been made. The new radar's mapping mode has been improved through Doppler beam sharpening techniques from a ratio of 8 to 1 in the F-16A to 64 to 1 in the F-16C, giving the pilot much better resolution for all targets. Using the Doppler beam sharpening mode in conjunction with the radar bombing system, Accurate weapon delivery is possible at night or through an overcast sky. Against moving targets such as tanks and trucks, the APG-68 radar incorporates a ground-moving target indicator and track mode. In this mode, only moving targets are displayed. In the maritime role, a sea mode is employed to detect ships in various sea states for equal accuracy in sea surveillance and attack. While the F-16A has already demonstrated its excellent survivability in combat, the sea's self-protection systems are further enhanced. Included is the ASPJ, a sophisticated radar detection and jamming system, plus an improved radar warning receiver. Upon detection of the threat's radar operation, electronic jamming and or dispensing of chaff or flares are done automatically. In addition, these systems are internal, eliminating the aerodynamic drag previously caused by external electronic countermeasure pods. Starting in 1986, C models with common engine bays were delivered. This allows the F-16C to be equipped with either the Pratt & Whitney F-100-220 engine or the General Electric F-110-100 engine. Unrestricted throttle movement, no engine trim requirements, and reduced life cycle costs are but a few of the benefits of these engines. When the time comes to fight, will it be ready? The F-16's record says it will, and the Air Force's director of the F-16 Systems Program Office agrees. The F-16 Worldwide Tactical Air Command Mission Capable Rate has exceeded 80% in each of the last 15 weeks, and that accomplishment is unprecedented in U.S. Air Force history. Also, the F-16, the world's most advanced electronics fighter, now has the highest reliability of any aircraft in the U.S. Air Force inventory. This, then, is the heritage of the F-16C, evolved from the best multi-role day fighter aircraft in the free world, retaining the agility, low fixed cost, and record-setting reliability of the F-16A with built-in growth space, an improved cockpit, increased all-weather operability, expanded weapons flexibility, and exceptional reliability, the F-16 is able to strike and fight anytime, anywhere, day or night. <laughs>